To solve quadratic functions using factoring, what you need to do is make sure that all your variables and terms are on one side of the equation. So I'm going to add 7x to both sides of the equation. I'm also going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. That way I have 0 on this side. So now I have 2x squared plus 7x plus 5 equals 0. All right, I'm going to need a little bit of scratch work because I'm going to have to factor this using the magic x. Well, multiply your first and last terms together. Take your middle term, two numbers that multiply, 2x, 5x. Again, you have 2x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 5. Use the bam-bam method. Bam! Bam! Now you're using some GCFs. Pull out a 2x, you'll get x plus 1. Pull out a positive 5, you'll get x plus 1. They match in the inside, so you know you're doing this correctly. 2x plus 5 and x plus 1 are your factors. Now again, that was scratch work, because what you're really saying is I had this on the left-hand side, which factored out to 2x plus 5, x plus 1, and that equals 0. So now what you're doing is you're doing some more scratch work. You're saying, all right, I want this quantity in the middle to be 0, and I want this quantity in the middle to be 0. And so you kind of have like two different equations, one of them being 2x plus 5 equals 0, and the other one is x plus 1 equals 0. All you have to do is solve for x for here, too. Minus 5 minus 5, 2x equals negative 5. And then you divide by 2, therefore, negative 5 over 2 is an answer. On this side, negative 1, negative 1. x equals negative 1. There's your other answer. And this is how you factor, or excuse me, this is how you solve a quadratic equation using factoring.